well, I think I'm going to watch a little TV. Um, I watch maybe about a half an hour, an hour a week. I'm too busy to watch TV. But I like to watch Jay Leno. And I'm going to catch him on the boob tube here now.
<coughs> Coughing can really be disruptive. Delsum helps silence coughs for a full 12 hours, all day or all night, up to twice as long as other cough liquids do. Delsum, silence is relief. <coughs> You can take comfort in the knowledge that you're covered. Let me ask you something, fella. Is that tuxedo rented? 1-800, save auto. Drive safe, spend less. Listen, do you guys want a breath, Nick? Because, well, fishy. Download the WJAC mobile app and get local news, videos, and weather from Six News. Center in Anaheim, California. Tonight they're performing a song from their critically acclaimed debut CD, The Bombshell Sessions. Please welcome Vintage Trouble! <laughs>
Armstrong, where he finally admitted to doping. And get this, the, the interview supposedly lasted close to three hours. So it's sort of like a regular interview, but you know, on steroids. <laughs> Here's some political news. President Obama's inaugural parade will feature eight floats, including a Hawaii float to honor his birthplace an Illinois float to honor the First Lady's home state, and a Kenyan float just to mess with Republicans. Speaking of Obama, I heard the President will push for a path to citizenship for 11 million illegal immigrants in the U.S. Obama says it's all part of his plan to give every man, woman, and child the chance to pay more taxes. And that's just the American way. More news uh, out of Washington, Education Secretary Arne Duncan announced that he will stay at the White House for President Obama's second term. Uh, he said his mission is to make the U.S. number one in education and won't stop till our students are doing gooder. <laughs> he won't stop. So movie news, MGM is coming out with a remake of the classic 1959 film Ben-Hur. You can tell it's a remake, though, because instead of being about a Jewish prince who is betrayed by his Roman friend, sent into slavery, and then seeks revenge, it's just about sexy vampires. <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, get this. On Sunday, an elderly man in Chicago accidentally crashed his car into an <coughs> Apple store. Yeah, and not surprisingly, he didn't look any more confused than all the other elderly people inside the Apple store. <laughs> Where are the apples? <laughs> this is a Macintosh. <laughs> Did you see this? Uh, a week after calling AJ McCarron's girlfriend beautiful, last night ESPN commentator Brent Musburger referred to a female silent reporter as really smoking. <laughs> Which explains why people are now referring to his career as really over. Uh, I read that NASA just spent 18 million dollars to add an extra room to the International Space Station. It could have been cheaper, but NASA's wife demanded granite countertops. And these are just to do it. Just do it. I don't know who I was doing that. Louis Anderson? Yeah. Uh, you know, just to do it. And uh, finally, a new survey found that 35% of Americans <coughs> use the internet to diagnose themselves instead of going to a doctor. Well, the rest go to the doctor and let him search for a diagnosis on the internet. <laughs> So fun. 
From the hit Showtime series Shameless, the beautiful Emmy Rossum is back in the world. Very talented. Very Speaking of talented, she is one of the most talented people in the fashion industry. She has an awesome new book out. Grace Coddington is dropping in. Oh, the memoir of Grace Cool Stories. Wow. Wow, she's gorgeous. And we have music from Yola Tango. Who may be a special guest. Really? Might be a special guest in there. Perhaps. Do you remember last time Charlie was on the show? Mm -hmm. Charlie Sheen, we do, I, I do an impression of Charlie. And so I was, we did a... Uh, I, I basically, I was doing like a Johnny Carson impression, but then I just make it more gravelly. Yeah. So like, like John, Johnny Carson, I just do like that. Right. And then Charlie Sheen, I just, I just talk like that. <laughs> uh, duh, winning, duh. And, uh, okay. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do it now, but I'm uh, making girls that do it, but it was, uh, he's a much better looking man than I am. But we did a bit, uh, I was Sam and he was, uh, I was doing an impression of Charlie, we did a bit called Clone Clone. <laughs> and we were both the same guy. And then uh, I just got reminded, uh, he was thinking of actually making the clone. <laughs> and the proceeds go to charity. Exactly. He's Charlie Clone Clone. Well, he's Charlie Sheen, he can do anything, man. He should run for president. That'd be good. Come on, come on. Let me do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, he's a fun guy. I love to have that guy here on the show. Uh, guys, it's time to take a look at these stories making headlines today and weigh the good with the bad. It's time for pros and cons. Here we go. <laughs> Tonight we'll be taking a look at the pros and cons of getting the flu shot. Some people like getting it, some people don't. Raise your hand if you got a flu shot. Yep. Now raise your hand if you didn't get a flu shot. Security, have these people escorted out of the building. Uh, now let's take a look at the pros and cons of getting the flu shot. Here we go. Pro, the vaccine contains the most effective ingredient known to prevent the flu. Con, the flu. <laughs> that makes sense. There you go. By fire with fire. <laughs> Pro, it's important that young people and old people do it. Con. That's Brent Musburger's pickup line. <laughs> yeah, Brent Musburger. Whatever works, man. Whatever works. Yeah. Pro, you may feel a small prick, but it'll be over before you know it. Con, that's my pickup line. I got to Brent get this figured out. Pro, it's the most important shot you can get. Con, unless you want to win the Tour de France. There you go. Live strong, you guys. Pro, the vaccine contains eggs, mercury, and dead viruses. Con, so does a Denny's Grand Slam breakfast. It's a birthday, you guys. Yeah. 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 Moving over my ham. Moving over my ham, man. That'd be great. Um, pro, go. Hey, Shelly Moe. I'm going into the lodge and watch the rest of uh, Jim Fallon, and I'm going to bed there. Call me in the morning.
I got to be for my YMC workout in a couple hours. So, and hit the hay, hit the hay. What do you say? For a couple hours, hit the hay. Nighty night. Sleep tight. And I won't let the bed bugs bite. 